Hello, it's me with different hair. Don't question it. This video is taking a really long time to come out because I have not wanted to edit it. Anyway, because I'm full of myself and I enjoy being the main topic of conversation, I just wanted to let you know that if you're watching this video the day it comes out, um, my birthday is this Sunday. So, wish me a happy birthday in the comments. Okay? Cool. Love you. Bye. Before you say anything, I know it's a bit strange. I was gone for however many months and now I'm in a totally different location. Allow me to explain. <laughs> I'm currently cat sitting at my dad's house because he's away on a work trip currently. So I'm filming this in my room at my dad's house. This is Lily. She's a kitten. Um, she does not like being picked up and she is very kitten like so um this probably will not be <laughs> the only time in this video you see her there's a bug on my camera lens hello <laughs> speaking of cat sitting <laughs> Hello everyone! Welcome if you are new, welcome back if you are not new. My name is Maddie, I'm a Canadian doll collector, and this is my channel where I post about doll collecting. I've wanted to do a little bit more chatty videos on this channel as of lately, just because with my college schedule, it's kind of easier to just sit in front of a camera and talk than it is to like prepare some crazy video, so hopefully this video does well. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about mostly summer but also like the girl of the year line in a whole and my thoughts and opinions on it currently because because I just have some stuff to say so yeah summer leaked recent ish this is a video I've been wanting to make for a while and I just haven't gotten around to it so I'm a bit late to the party but summer did leak I have some thoughts some are good some are bad, some are neutral, but they're definitely thoughts. So this is me chatting about them today. So first and foremost, I thought I would talk about Summer. She leaked a few months or so ago, I wanna say. I can't remember the exact date, but she did leak pretty recent-ishly. Um, I'll put an edit on the screen of a doll that I have created to look like Summer because I don't want to have her in my actual video because I don't want American Girl coming for me. My opinions on Summer... <laughs> this is another case of Alexis and Kira and maybe even like Ivy and Julie for that matter where the best friend should have been the main doll and, you know, knowing how American Girl works, they're either going to pick a doll or make a CYO to represent Summer's friend in some way, shape, or form as a doll. How they're going to do that, not too sure yet. But I know when they did it as, like, the CYO with Alexis, so many people were like, that should have been the girl of the year. She's so cute. Look at her. Um, <laughs> by the way, this is very unscripted, so if I'm kind of like rambly or not getting to the point, yeah, <laughs> um, I do kind of, I do agree. A lot of people are making edits of what they wanted Summer to look like, and a lot of them looked like this, interestingly enough. Kind of upsetting that this is not what we got. All, all this rambling to say that I do agree. American Girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? I just also wanted to talk about Summer as a whole. Um, I don't like her. I will not be getting her. Um, American Girl really likes to whitewash the enamel right now. I saw someone on Instagram talk about this. I can't remember who, but I'll like put them down below. Is that a lot of people were defending the use of the enamel on the Ariel doll by saying, okay, but Nene is half white. Let me just zoom in the camera so you can see the expression I'm making because what the actual heck 
I would have said a worse word there, but I'm trying to make this PG. And that really st stood with me for a second. One, the fact that we have to try and find a way to like defend American Girl's use of a face mold created to represent Hawaiian facial structures. And two, the fact that Nenea is half white. This is a rant for another day, but why does every single doll of color that's a character have to have some whiteness attached to it? There are so many. There are so many. Why is that? And I could go on a whole rant about their use of the name mold, um, especially lately when it comes to using it on white characters. You know, we were very vocal for a little bit about how we wanted an American Girl to use the Mary Grace and the Nanea mold more, but this was not how we wanted American Girl to use the Nanea mold more. If you look on the website, I think there are more, like, white or white presenting dolls, including Summer, with the Nanea mold right now than there are, like, dolls that are a doll of color. Is this gonna be another Josefina mold situation? If we are witnessing Josefina mold 2.0 right before our very eyes, which it seems like we might be, there's an issue. There is an issue that two face molds made for dolls of color now are being twisted, if you will, to be used on only white dolls or mostly white dolls. But again, that's a story for another day. Another thing I want to talk about is her looks. She looks an awful lot like Isabel. Do I think that's a bad thing? No, I guess not really. I'm gonna give the same defense that I gave with, you know, people who were mad that Lila was a gymnast and a horse rider. It has been a decent amount of time since Isabel was the girl of the year. So I guess, you know, if a kid wanted Isabel but obviously can't get her because you know, she's retired. Although Isabel's a doll that's very easy to find on online, but you know, whatever. <laughs> if someone really wanted Isabel, now they have a chance to get a doll that looks relatively similar to Isabel, which is, I guess is cool. I guess that's nice. Her personality though, you cannot reuse the argument that people had for Lila against McKenna and Sage. Because we have had another animal related doll recently. We had Kira in 2021. It is 2025. That's so weird that I have to say 2025. Ew. Anyway, Summer is the girl of the year for 2025. There really isn't that big of a gap there. Not nearly as big of a gap as there was between Sage and McKenna and Lila. American Girl still sells Kira, do they not? That they only just recently stopped selling her because they keep the girl of the years around for like five extra years now, which is a whole nother argument, but we're not gonna get into that. Why do we need another animal doll? There are so many. You would even argue, you could even argue that Lila is an animal doll because horses are an animal. You could, you could even argue that Corinne, a doll that came out even re more recent than Kira, is an animal doll because a big part of her story is training a search and rescue dog. So why do we have another animal doll? We don't, we don't need one. We've had two, even three, you could say, pretty recently. I feel like American Girl just has like the same personalities and they just pick them out of a hat. Like what is going on here? What is going on here? Be so for real. Her other personality trait seems to be baking. For this one, I feel like you can give the like Sage and McKenna excuse. It's been a while since Grace was girl of the year. She was girl of the year for 2015. 2025, that's a whole 10 year gap. So I feel like it's okay that we have another Baker doll. That's fine. Things that I will say in defense of Summer is that I think her collection is really cute. One look at my channel will show you that like my interest is very much pastel rainbow. I love rainbows and I love pastel rainbow and like cute things to be specific and based off like what we have seen in books and what her like little logo looks like and all of that it does seem like we're gonna get a very like pastel rainbow themed collection which I'm so excited for I know I'm gonna have to like buy a lot of it if it's cute 
the outfit that she's wearing in the book leaks with like the purple jacket specifically need that i need that it also has been a very long time since we got a doll that came with glasses i think the last one we had was z and we've only ever had three dolls if i'm correct we've only had three dolls that have ever come with glasses that's molly z and now summer hopefully there's obviously no confirmation that she's going to come with glasses the other thing i have to say about summer is that her dog is really cute um it looks like it's supposed to be like a big fluffy white dog and i love fluffy white dogs my friend when i was growing up used to have samoids if you know what a samoid is um she had two of them and i love those things so much like i was so obsessed with her dogs her dog is giving Samoid vibes. I don't know if that's the dog it's supposed to be. Probably not. But it is very cute. So I'll give her that. Now that I've given my opinions on Summer, I sort of want to give my opinions on the girly girl line right now as a whole. And this one, there will be no good opinions. These are all negative. What is American Girl doing? First and foremost, we need to jump all the way back to Cubby because this is when I first noticed that things were starting to go awry and that was the introduction of journals. Now, journals seems to be something that American Girl is doing now for all their character dolls. Julie has one, the twins have one, Lila has one. There was a Melody one that leaked recently which makes me upset as Melody's number one fan because I feel like Melody's story is very important and to get rid of that and just turn it into a journal is upsetting. The very first journal obviously came with Covey. I've seen a lot of people give their opinions on journals and like why they think American Girl is doing it. Personally, I just think American Girl is probably just doing it to get more money and also save money because they're not spending as much to make these big books for every single doll. They're probably making more money in some regard because they're giving you these journals and they're going, if you want to hear the story more in depth, then you need to buy the book. And the book costs an extra however much money when you used to be able to just get it free with the doll. You see what I mean? Now I do think American Girl's probably, I mean, I think it's pretty well known at this point. American Girl's kind of in like a little bit of a financial issue. And I think you can ask this to like most American Girl collectors and they'll say the same. I don't think American Girl is doing very good financially at the moment. And that is a topic for another day. I have a lot of opinions on that and why I think that is. And maybe one day I'll talk about it. Like I said, I want to do more of these chatty videos just because they're easy to do and I am a busy person. I think the introduction of the journals is where this first really, is where this first really sort of went wrong where you know we started seeing bumps in the girl of the year line and we started sort of like huh hello me again with headphones this time i'm just changing every time you see me in this video um i'm saying bumps in the girl of the year line because i'm referring to that line specifically in this video but i do think the introduction of the journals is where we're starting to like really see bumps in american girl like in general, but that's a video for another day. I just wanted to put this in here because I feel like some smart person is going to be like, um, actually, and so, yeah, this, I know the journals are being used on more than just Girl of the Year dolls right now. I talked about it earlier on in the video. Cool? Cool. Another thing is, Covey got her, like, mid-year summer release but her mid-year summer release was a partnered thing with Wicked and also costed like $70. Now I'm not saying that's a bad thing because you know mid-year release that wouldn't be the first time there's been a kind of expensive mid-year release I'm sure but it's just like it used to be like here's an extra outfit and an extra like fun thing for your doll like Joss had like the barbecue and the overall outfit. Corinne had like Blix and the camping outfit. Kira, I don't know what Kira had because I wasn't keeping up with American Girl at that point in time so I don't really know. Up until recently it was like fun little extra big ticket-ish item, new outfit. That was really cool. And then it turned into two $70 outfits. I think they were actually more than that. I can't remember. But like two really expensive outfits that were not 
worth that amount of money in the slightest. Like they didn't even look good. They looked cheap and ugly. And that was the mid-year release. And it wasn't even technically a mid-year release because she didn't get a full year. Her year was cut short by a few months because in October, the new girl of the year, Lila, came around so American Girl could make money off of holiday sales. Hi, I'm back. All that yapping and I didn't even get my point across. What I wanted to say and talk about was the fact that Lila didn't get a mid-year release. There was nothing. Anyway, I just, are we, are we, are we done with that now? Because I'll be very upset when we're done with that. Not like I bought any of them. Because... I never did, but, like, it was fun to see what came out for the girl of the year in the middle of summer every year, was it not? That's all I need to say on that matter. And that is where we lead into our next thing. The girl of the year dolls are not around for a year anymore. They've been around for longer than a year since Luciana, I think, and it's like, what is going on here? Why are we making this decision? The, Mer the girl of the year line was originally the dolls only available for a year. January 1st of the next year, the doll's not there anymore and the new doll comes in. That was the girl of the year line. Now it's the doll's available for like three or four years after that because tell me why I can still buy Corinne, the girl of the year 2022, when it's 2024. And now, not only are they like around for longer than a year, but they're not even getting the spotlight for a whole year because the new doll comes out while it's still the year before. Lila came out while it was still 2023. And like at the time people were like, this has to be like a racially motivated thing because this is a doll of color getting replaced by a white doll. And I mean, now we're seeing that maybe it wasn't, maybe it was just like American Girl being money hungry, but also very well could have been, I don't know. I mean, look at me, I'm obviously not obligated to talk too much on those subjects. <laughs> Covey didn't get a full year because Lila came out in October. Lila is not getting a full year even though she came out in October. Like even though she came out early, she is not getting a full year because the doll of summer is coming out in September. When this video comes out, depending on how long it takes me to edit this because I don't really know, she might already be out. Is that not like, what are we doing here American Girl? And I know like, their reasoning is that they want to profit off of the holiday season, but they are getting profit from the holiday season from the American Girl, from the Girl of the Year dolls with what they were doing. I'm sure of it. I know this because growing up, I had a friend who got the Girl of the Year doll for that year every year for Christmas. So there is no way that they were not getting profit from the Girl of the Year during the holiday season before when they were doing it the old way. I, I just don't believe that. It just I, it sucks to see what this company is becoming right before our very eyes, you know? And it, I know, I know, it's a company. They're gonna do greedy things. They've done greedy things for years. But it's just like, you're really falling from grace now. And we're witnessing it. We are right before our very eyes, witnessing it. Crazy. And I know this definitely works because Lila sold out before her year had even started if I'm remembering correctly. And she was sold out for a good, good, good chunk of 2024 because of that. The, clearly this marketing works, unfortunately, and clearly American Girl is going to keep doing this, which is sad. It's sad, but I mean, I, there's not much we can do. We are trying. There's been so many American Girl boycotts. There are so many people I know that are boycotting American Girl for all sorts of reasons right now. I mean, there was the whole bring back AG quality thing back in the day that like, you know, was a people working together that fixed something and it worked. So maybe if we just keep pushing and we keep doing this, you know, we'll succeed. Based off, you know, what we experienced with Lila, it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Now I did buy my Lila doll in October, so I can't say that I'm like one of the good people who was waiting but in my defense, American Girl had already left Indigo. Um, all of their stores had already closed. They weren't supposed to be getting Lila in. And I was like, okay, I need to like scoop in and snatch her up quick so I can still get her in person because I wanted to get her in person <laughs> because I wanted to, I wanted to get Lila. And I was like, well, if I can have the opportunity to get her in person, I'm going to get her in person. So that's my excuse. Um, American Girl and Indigo is another conversation that I would love to have another day that I'm not going to have right now, but yeah. The year ending early thing, it just bothers me. 
the lack of diversity is a conversation about the girlier line that's been going on for so long and it just kind of sucks because it really felt like we were getting somewhere you know we had two doll of color dolls in a year we had not had that in a hot minute and then it was white doll and then another white doll I could go on a whole rant about you know the lack of diversity and the reuse of like appearances and the reuse of personality traits but I think there are a lot of other people on AGTube and AGIG and just the American Girl community that has done a way better job at that of that than I ever could so I encourage you to go like look at that listen to those people all of that sort of stuff but I wanted a doll that looked like me naturally you know brown hair blue eyes and I could only buy from the girl of the year line for some reason I have a crazy amount of options but if there was a black girl who wanted a doll that looked like her she only has one option now I don't know why you would be buying a doll that looks like you from the girl of the year line but that's just the argument that I want to put out and I encourage you to like do the same look at the girl of the year line say you want a doll that looks like you but you can only buy from the girl of your line how many dolls that look like you are there hmm and like tell me tell me anyway that's all i wanted to say it kind of sucks seeing this line fall from its grace because this was what got me into american girl sage specifically i've talked about this i wanted her really really bad as a kid and then i got her and the whole idea of you know, a doll only being available for one year was kind of a thing that American Girl had that like made them unique compared to a lot of the other doll brands out there. I'm sorry this video wasn't scripted. I'm sorry if it's kind of echoey. It, I'm in a very echoey room. Like I can hear it even just talking to myself right now. So I'm sure the camera's probably picking it up like crazy. I'm sorry if you heard any background noise. It's an apartment. There's not really much I can do on that matter. I'll probably like put down the plot points I want to make sure I talk about next time I do one of these. I am back for the foreseeable future. We'll see what happens. This semester coming up is like absolute bonkers looking at it. So who really knows? I have a bunch of pre-recorded videos somewhere, but I lost the SD card that they're on. Until I can find that SD card, you're just going to have to put up with like really long breaks probably <laughs> but I do have some videos already filmed I just wanted this to be my first video coming out because I wanted to make sure it was out while the topic was still somewhat fresh so hopefully you enjoyed my rambling there is a cat attacking my sleeve can you not thank you for watching this video if you liked it be sure to give it a like do all the youtuber -y stuff if you can comment leave a comment I don't really know what you want can comment but leave a comment and me and lily well i don't know if lily will see you next time but i will see you next time bye do you have anything you want to say before the video ends <laughs> look how many toes she has she has extra toes okay she's done <laughs> she doesn't like being picked up